Tony tapped me on the shoulder years ago in the airport in Wellington and said I'd love to work at Weta and uh, that started the most incredible friendship that's gone on for uh, nearly a decade now I guess uh, and about six years ago Johnny came and saw me and said is there any way I could get some help to realise this incredible dream that I've got in my head and uh, that has turned into this, this incredible exhibition, this book in the making, uh, the eye publishing that is coming along so beautifully, and all the in intrigue and excitement that is unfolding around the gloaming. What Johnny has done is pure creation. And I think that the last time I saw something that even remotely resembled this was the last time I watched Labyrinth. And I have been waiting for that to come back again ever since. You know, I think that when you look at the great artists, the halls of the great artists, it takes a certain kind of arrogance to become a Dolly or a Spielberg or a Jim Henson. And Johnny's cocky attitude about his own vision and his own ability and what he's going to do in the world he has a dream and a vision and the talent to get him there and that is so inspiring to be around he, he puts his whole heart his whole mind his whole soul into his art it's his food it's his breath it's his satisfaction Johnny has sacrificed eight years really of his life to creating those pages tirelessly every day coming at the, in at the same time as the rest of the crew but rather than going to his desk and working on commercial work he went to the desk in the corner and chipped away at what's in this building today but to think that it's come out of the hands of one individual with some small assistance from his colleagues and friends at the workshop is a truly mind-boggling achievement and then to know that there's a depth of creativity, story and amazing entertainment underneath this body of work is truly tribute to the amazing person that uh, stands beside me. So I hope that all of you, I really sincerely hope that you not just buy, but treasure the gloaming. Because all the while he's had you in mind, he's had his readers in mind, He's been thinking all of this time of your imaginations and of how to make them fly.